Good typography is the foundation to good web design. Your website could be filled with amazing animations, interactions, 3D objects, and all the bells and whistles, but if it doesn't have good typography, at best, it's gonna be meh. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you the basics of building typographic scales and typographic styles to apply to your web design projects. I have this website that I'm building inside of Wix Studio and it's a pretty cool website. It has motion and video in the background and it's got cool interactivity in my navigation. The whole thing's actually pretty responsive, which is nice, but the problem is and will always be typography here is just really, really boring. This is supposed to be a headline, but you can't tell it's a headline. This is supposed to be a subheadline. Which of these pieces of text here are supposed to be headline, subheadline, eyebrow, body, copy? What am I supposed to read first here? The number or the caption below? And therein lies the problem. You can dress up your website as much as possible with animation and all sorts of cool bells and whistles, but unless you start to really concern yourself with the typographic scale, you're always gonna have these projects that fall short. Now your first maybe thought process here might be, let's go back in and edit the site and I'll just grab this headline and let me make it bigger. And that's, and that's really easy to do in something like Wix Studio. There you go, I made it bigger. But the question becomes, how much bigger? And then how much bigger is this headline gonna be than the subheadline? Is there any rhyme, reason, or rationale to this? Or is it just a constant shot in the dark, hoping for the best, hoping that things look good? Well, why don't we introduce the idea of typographic scales into our projects? And a typographic scale is basically this. We have your basic website headings and your paragraph styles. And the scale basically says, hey, let's scale typography based off of some sort of foundation. For us as web designers, we're usually gonna make that foundational number our plain body copy. And so when we jump back into our Figma file, maybe we'll grab this paragraph two. We would call that maybe our default paragraph size. We're gonna set the size there on that default size. So we're gonna say that maybe it wants to be 16. And now what we know is that everything needs to scale up off of that. So if this is gonna be our, our smaller typography, maybe this is gonna be 14, maybe that's 18. And then we start going on headings, right? Maybe headings are gonna start at 22. Everything needs to scale up. The problem with what I'm doing here is it's a random scale. We need a consistent mathematical scale that works all the way up and creates a sense of rhythm Typographic rhythm is the term you might have heard. So I'm going to introduce you to a fantastic tool. It's free to use, typescale.com. Go out and find this website. And what you're looking at right now is all of the scale stuff that's happening on the left-hand side, all of the details for the scale. Then you have the example of how the scale looks. And then we can actually open up this and actually see some examples of this working on a landing page. So what we're basically saying here is we've picked our base body size of 16. We've chosen what scale at what kind of size or mathematical equation do we want to keep scaling each piece of typography. So you can see as it scales, it scales from one REM. We can move this over to pixels. You can see it goes from 16 to 19, 19 to 23, and mathematically correct all the way up, we get this real logical scale. Now, when it comes to websites, I like to do things that are a little bit more bold. So I'm going to move this up, right? We can see all of these different names for these scales. Right now we're in a minor third. Don't worry about the names of the scales. Just realize that the bigger you go, the faster it's going to scale. And that works really, really well for websites. So we can have really big and awesome and interesting headline ones, but still have manageable subheadlines and body copy. So I'm going to bump this up and just see what that looks like. That puts us up to a a headline one of 61 pixels. Maybe that's what we want. That seems pretty cool. Let's try 1.5. 333, three, three, that's a perfect fourth. That bumps me up to some really large 89 pixel headlines. I like this a lot. And we can see how this might look on a landing page. Nice and big and like powerful headlines, but we still get manageable body copy. We can see how this is all starting to kind of come together. Now, once we've created our typographic scale, you can choose to or not to round your numbers that you've gotten to the nearest decimal value. And that's what I like to do. So instead of having 89.76, I'm just going to round it up to 90 to make it nice and simple to use. And with these numbers, I'm going to bring these numbers and start to apply them to my project. So we have our normal paragraph size of 16, and then we have a smaller one and an even smaller one. So why don't we do that? I'm going to move back into my Wix project that we have here in Wix Studio. I'm going to open up these site styles, and you can see we have a complete area for typography, and right now everything is even. It's set to 24. There is some variation in 
the weight or the thickness of the typography, but I'm gonna let that do what it does and I'm gonna start here from paragraph one. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. I'm gonna bring it down to 16 and I'm going to apply. Then I'm gonna to go to my paragraph two and it was 12 and then down to nine. So why don't we just jump back over here and go edit that one at 12, apply it. One more time, open those site styles back up, jump to that smallest paragraph size and we'll do something like nine. That's gonna be great for like little tiny captions. We'll rarely use that, but that 16 pixel is our size. And what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and just apply all of these site styles using my numbers and my values. And I'm just gonna update the site and let's see how it looks. All right, here we are. We're gonna preview our site. And after I went ahead and updated all the site styles, you can see how much better and how much more readable this website looks, right? We can just stretch this out. Look at those big scaling headlines. That's a really cool feature inside of Wix Studio just to make sure that things scale. And then as we scroll down, everything is scaling proportionally based off of my typographic scale that I've created. So we have our heading one, we have a heading two or three right there. We jump down and and we have our body copy. And then we have another headline with a little eyebrow above that. So this is actually our headline four, headline five or six right there. And we scroll down and it's just, like I said, a lot more legible. I know where to look. I know what is more important than other things. The whole thing is just brought together by some simple typographic styles. And it's so easy to create those styles, transfer them into your website builder like Wix Studio to bring some clarity and some excitement and some foundational design style to your web design projects. And that's how easy it is to apply some typographic scale to your web design projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you know when more web design videos come out. And if you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. If you're looking for more content, check out this video and this one right here. And we'll see you in the next one.